Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here with a predominantly a charity shop haul for reselling but I just want to show you something first before we get into that that my dad gave me. Now you all know that this is a cassette holder. It's not in brilliant condition, I don't think it's worth reselling but it is full of cassettes but not music cassettes. Maybe it is, I don't know. It's, a bit, it's very dusty but this contains all of my brother's Atari cassette games from the for the 800 XL XT series. Now he had ST and they play on there as well. So and there's lots of them. I don't know how many there is. They're not full. Maybe 40 or 50 games. So for instance, there's two copies of Gauntlet. There's some of these he got from Chris. There's something called Sidewinder. Um, Seamus. There is one in here. I can find it. Anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, about fifty or sixty games. Uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, Seamus, Phantom, Action Biker, and there's a game in there, I don't know what it is, called Gunfighter, which was the very first game I ever completed on any system. So there's those, so that didn't cost me anything, but I reckon I'll bundle them up, um, like 10 games in a pile for 20 quid or something, I really need to have a look. He also gave me a lot of PC ROM games as well, but games aren't my thing. Now you know what my thing is, my thing's cameras. So uh, there's a lot of clothing in this wall, but uh, I thought I'd show you some cameras that I got first. So, uh, from one of the charity shops, I got this one. It was a pound. It's only a Hanamex. Actually, it wasn't. It was two. There were two cameras, and I, it, I put, bought them both. This one had a price on it of a pound. The other one didn't have a price, so they let me have them both for a pound, so 50p. Haven't tested it yet, but there's no reason why it shouldn't work. In my usual place, I picked up some cameras the other day. They were uh, I got I got three for four pounds. The first one is this this Canon. It's a Sure Shot 8F7. I'm currently I've got a roll of film in this. It works perfectly well. That one, and I was surprised because there was a roll of film in here, in this one, and it was rolled into the camera, but it was also wrapped around the the cartridge, which was very weird. So I'm. Um, put in an old roll just to see if it works, but it was a pound. I do have the box and instructions for it somewhere, I've just put it out of the way because Jennifer keeps grabbing it. Also, it, same day, I found this Widepix panorama camera. Again, I haven't tested it, but it's in my pile to be tested because I do like to play with them. Because I do like cameras, as you know. And again, it's got this box and its instructions are in there as well, which is always handy. And it's got a case. Also in a case, it was the first thing I saw when I walked into the sale was this case and it says Polaroid on the top. So I had a quick look to see what it was and it's a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS. I've actually got film in this at the moment. I'm using it, taking pictures of Jennifer. Um, just put on the wall in a bedroom really and it works these are up on ebay for anything between 20 and 50 pounds so they'll probably put mine up at 45 for free shipping because we i know it works flash works is not a problem i will keep the empty cartridge to test any future polaroids that i get once i've used it up because we put it in and there's the battery for the flash is in the film so i suppose case so that's nice it's working Today, I picked up a camera again. I just, every time we go into this one shop in Newport, there's cameras. This is an Olympus camera, it cost one pound. So it always seems to be one pound, which is lucky. If I can get it out of the case. So I have no idea what this is like, don't know if it works. <coughs> there's a roll of film in it as well. So I'll need to, to check that. So there we are. Olympus Zoom. 
doesn't say anything else. Just an impa So, and how it works. So, I haven't looked at it yet. So, there's a macro switch, self timer, off and on. It's going to need batteries, I think, looking at it. So, we'll test it out, see if it's working. Like I said, there is a roll of film in there. So, who knows whether it's been used or not. But I'll check that out. So that's on top of all the other cameras I got to test that I can. I have got a roll of film to be developed as well. Now, on to the clothes. In my usual sale place, I have bought lots, I haven't shown you, it's upstairs waiting to be photographed. Favourite item was an All Saints jumper, small one, I mean it's about a size 6, 8. In beige, 100% cashmere for 33p because it was on the 3 for a pound rail. So we've got this monsoon silk, I think it's silk skirt. It's a size 10. Yes, baby. Pretty sure it's silk from the feel of it. I don't know where the care label's gone. If it's in here. Here it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, 100% silk. It's a really nice little skirt. Now, monsoon is up and down. But that's a nice little skirt for the summer. For a pound, you're not gonna leave it there, you pull. No. I bought myself a colouring book today from a charity shop, but you'll see that in my colouring book haul when I do that. So yesterday you know, I went to Caffili, I didn't buy anything. I didn't think there was a lot in the charity shops in Caffili, it must have been a bad day. But today we went to Newport, and again I was thinking there's not a lot, there's not a lot here until we got to one of the charity shops where I got loads. So Paul picked up a t-shirt, didn't you? Mm. For himself. Mm. So, M&S Blue Harbour, mm. and that was a pound. <coughs> nice, I like the colour. So the first thing I picked up was this, let's sit back just so you can see it. It was a pound, Beauty and Beast, <coughs> Disney Princesses t-shirt. It's an 18 to 20 Disney princess and it looks in really good condition. The plastic on the front, it doesn't look like it's been washed or worn. So. The last Disney t-shirt I sold was one from Asda and it was the Miss Piggy one and it sold for 12 99 Which is good. It's been pretty quiet lately so I'm hoping some of this, when I get this listed, Will be nice. This is a size 14. This was a pound. This is just a little black dress by Kardashian Collection. So I'm going to like Kim Kardashian and that lot. So a keyhole back with a little bow at the top. It's rather nice. And there's the Kardashian label if you can see it. I don't know if it'll focus on it. But that was a pound. I thought I'm not leaving that there for a pound. And then everything else came from one shop and I spent 10 quid in there and there's some nice stuff. So the first thing I've got here is a hooded top. It's a navy and white striped one but it's it's Max Mara Weekend. Now I think that's the casual range or their cheaper range but it's the very first piece of Max Mara I have ever seen. It's very nice, it's medium I think medium it's pleased with that it's in good condition it feels lovely we've got another top this is a, just a blue spotted white spots but it's a top but again it was a pound so you can't really go wrong for a pound Next one is a rugby top. It's a. Uh, I don't know what size it is. Small, teeny tiny. Let's see if there's a size on the inside. 100% cotton. Doesn't say a size, I guess a small. And it's uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. That's nice, but it's just teeny tiny. But for a pound, you're not going to leave it behind, do you? 
I like this dress. This is a dress. It was a pound. Everything was a pound today. It's a size 12. But it's phase 8. But it's got this lovely sort of block colour print in black, green and, and white. It's a really, really nice dress. that one and this is a green olive green I would say dress again a size 14 it was only a pound it's fat face fat face is one of those as you know brands which can be hard to shift but I like this it's a nice dress tie back and but again it was only a pound so it's not like you're gonna lose money on it Another one, another dress. Again, this is phase eight, I think. Yep, yeah, phase eight. Love the pattern on this one. It's a nice little dress. It's a size. It's only a size ten though, but it's still a nice dress. And for a pound, I just decided I need to go to Newport every week and go to that one shop first because I didn't get to look at everything because Jennifer was starting to kick off. Wouldn't she? Mm. What's this one? This is a nice dress. But I can't remember what it is. Who's it by? Oh, this is by class. This is class collection, but it's size 14. I have no idea about this brand. I just liked the dress. It's very summery. Very nice full skirt. It's hard for you to see, I know, on this. Let's come back here like that. And it's got like the straps and the beaded bit of work on the top, which is all complete, and it's just a really nice dress. I'd wear that if I was thin enough. The only thing that fit me is the Beauty and the Beast t-shirt. Couple more to go. One, three more, I think. This one is white stuff and uh, paper in layers. So it says white stuff, and then underneath it's got paper in layers label. And it's just this. It's got little pockets. A little pocket there, which is nice. It's very short, so I don't know whether it's a dress or a long tunic. Doesn't say what size it is. Where's your size in? It's a ten, so it's probably a dress. It's very short, but it's very nice. It's a nice pattern. That one. And then I've got this purple sort of checked blouse, super dry. I don't know what the size is because I pulled the tag off. Made from British Design. It doesn't have a size on it, so I'm going to have to really measure this. Super dry. Oh, it says it's a size large, so it's probably about 14 then. Needs a good steam. Uh, you know, I've never picked up Super Dry before because it's always been overpriced, but for a pound I'm not going to leave it there. Nice, that, isn't it? Yeah. So this is only a quick, quick run through, I'm not stopping to chat. I might do a live stream one day and you can talk to me about it. Oh, wow. And then the last thing I picked up was a coast jacket. Again, it's a pound, it's a size 10, it's linen by the feel of it. White linen jacket, I will just check. Probably never been worn because it's still got its original baggy roots there, but in it. Yeah, it's half linen, so it's 50 cent linen. Cool iron on reverse, strap clean only. It's a nice little coast. Here we go. Nice little coast jacket. I need to have a look at prices to see what I'm going to put up for some of these. Some of these I've got an idea and some of them I haven't got a clue. So that's what I bought today and some cameras I've bought in the last week and of course the great cassettes. So like I said I bought myself a colouring book. Yay! Jennifer, what did you get yesterday? Where's your present from yesterday? Where'd it go? Jennifer got a tambourine with flashing lights. I don't know if you can see the yeah, you can. But yeah, so she's got a noise make another noise maker. 
kids and noises ain't. That's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this little haul. Let me know what you think of what I got. There probably was a lot more in that shop that I could have got. Well, but we, were getting, we were, we were getting hungry, so we headed off because somebody was getting a bit noisy. Right, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again really soon with some other nonsense. I don't know what. Oh dear, yes, I know. I know. It's just noisy. See you all soon. Bye now.